So the treatments that we have now for atopic dermatitis, I would say, are not um, are not enough. Um, not that they are not effective. So cyclosporine A is effective, but it's also effective in psoriasis. However, it has many side effects, and after one year of use, it was documented to show permanent kidney toxicity. So we do not like to use that. I mean, we may use it for short term, but we don't like to use it long term. So what we really need is something to treat our patients long term. You want to have sustained efficacy without side effects for long term, and that's not available. So the treatments we have now are oral prednisone. We don't like it. A lot of side effects causes rebound. We have the cyclosporine that has the one year kidney toxicity. We don't like it. And then we have phototherapy that while it's very safe, it's not feasible for many patients because they need to come three times a week to the doctor's office. So we really, really need something safe and effective for atopic dermatitis patients with moderate to severe disease. And the idea that comes from psoriasis that by targeting a single cytokine, you can reverse the disease is a fascinating idea that now is proven to be also true in atopic dermatitis by targeting a IL-4 receptor. And uh, atopic dermatitis is a more complex disease than that. It's not just involving increases in Th2 cytokines. So IL-4 and IL-13 are increased, but there are other cytokines that we show that play a role. It's a more heterogeneous disease. And we need to see how targeting these other cytokines will basically resolve the disease to understand what exactly is the role of these cytokines to the disease activity, because it's a little more heterogeneous. It's not really a uniform disease like psoriasis is, that is really centered on IL-17, IL-23. And I think the only way we learn is the way we are doing it now by single cytokine targeting or several cytokine targeting and see what that does in tissues to the disease. You need to shut off a pathway and understand what, what happens.